Hi everyone, Mary Beth here. I'm gonna go over some pro tips for getting started really fast. So first off, when you start a new project, I recommend putting the simple address. You don't need all of these city and state. And then I like to put my client's last name in parentheses. This just helps at a glance know where they are. Another pro tip is add the other team members that are in your system when you first create the project. This means that you don't have to do it later. All right, second pro tip, when you get started, if you have a floor plan or a mood board, upload it. It's gonna make setting up your project more clear and easy, but if not, you can always skip and start without it. Third pro tip is to actually name your floor plans. So for this, I only have one plan, but when you upload 10 pages, it gets really confusing as you start to estimate. So what you wanna do is name those up front. I'm gonna name this main floor plan. Pro tip four, Go ahead and use our starter outline to get your scope ready really fast. So you just have to go in and select the number of rooms um, in your project, and then you can always go in and add this later. What this does is it quickly helps you get going. I'm going to also select the categories of work that are going to be in this project. We give some default construction categories as well, some default um, design categories. And what this is really great for is actually setting up your selections up front. So do this and select all of the items that are going to apply in your project. So we selected cabinetry and it's going to see that there are already vanities and cabinets that are meant to be in certain locations. So this gets your selections going in a second. Last step is go ahead and include your markup here. You can choose to do profit and overhead, or you can include your markup on every single item up front, and then you can always edit this later. So there you go, I've got my project already outlined with some selections. Pro tip five is to go in and just click TBD to enter the pricing on things. So I can go in and quickly edit items. I don't even have to press save. Pro tip six is gonna to be to estimate and mark the plan without even clicking into the item. So if you hover over the quantity that's given, you can click mark plans. And what that's gonna do is allow you to go in and mark the plans really quickly. So go ahead and set the scale at the beginning of your project. So what you're gonna do is click set scale, drag your scale to a room where you know the exact size, and then save. I like to save as default for this project. And there you go, your square footage is estimated. Next pro tip is to set up your locations at the beginning. So you can go into manage locations. I selected that there were four uh, bedrooms in this house, or five, so it's gonna automatically call one the primary bedroom, and then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna rename the locations or what appropriate. So let's say this is um, the girl's bathroom, for instance, because you have a family who has a girl and they have a bathroom. And maybe bathroom three is actually the guest bathroom. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna name this what makes sense for me so that when I'm estimating, I can recognize those, those locations. I can also come in and create custom locations while I'm here. So if your home is very custom or your project is very custom, you can add those here. All right, the last pro tip, when you're adding a custom item, let's say I'm adding a chandelier, you wanna make sure you go in if it's a client selection and turn on enable selection. So anytime you add something new, if it's something that needs a client decision, go ahead and turn that on because it's gonna show up in your selections workspace and that means you or your design team is gonna have a place to go to add information. So those are all my pro tips for getting started really quickly and getting your, getting your project set up fast and in the right way. Of course, if you have any questions, you can always reach out to us at hello at Materio.co.